on Sunday, July 6, at the final night of the Essence Music Festival at New Orleans Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Attendees were treated to a few newcomers like Lyanda Harvers and Des Zeda. The two singers showed up and showed out in the Ford Hot Right Now Super Lounge. They were also reacquainted with regular headliner Mary J. Blige who played the main stage just before Kendrick Lamar. He's the first rapper to close out the festival on his first appearance there, quite the feat. Essence Festival 2015 Day 2 Highlights, Day 3 Highlights there was a severe thunderstorm in the city on Sunday afternoon. Everything, and everyone, moved a bit slower by showtime. Fluid reopened the main stage at 7 p.m. local time to an audience that filled only 40% of the venue. They gave their show full effort though, Marsha Ambrosius tended to one end of the stage and Natalie Stewart to the other. By 7.15 p.m., they'd got to Butterflies on their set list, the song they gifted Michael Jackson. In his honor, they performed a rendition of his own song, Can't Help It, after Butterflies. Ladies and a gentleman, Stuart shouted. Marsha Ambrosius. The lead vocalist then performed a solo mini set starting with I Hope She Cheats On You. They played a solid set, but at the same time, the super lounges were kicking off upstairs. Tedra Moses was at the Walmart for the love of R&B stage teasing the crowd with covers. This lady, she said setting up for the next song, people used to say I sound just like her. Fans screamed as she queued up Faith Evans soon as I get home and made it her own. It's time for R&B music she said, it's still alive you all. We out cheer. SZA was setting up next for the Ford Super Lounge. She had a much younger crowd attend but there was a sprinkle of middle-aged fans throughout. The New Jersey native started off with child's play, whipping her neck running across the stage, and even hitting the nae nae as her fans cheered her on. Aye, aye, they shouted. The live band which backed her seemed to revel in her rock star presentation as much as concert goers. There could have been a thicker audience for SZA if not for Omarion's show at Verizon's Super Lounge. Omarion was a huge draw that night, 